Okay, so angles are not just represented in degrees. They are also represented in radian measurements. So, hindi lang tayo mag usap about 30 degrees, 50 seconds, kanyan. So, we also talk about pi over 4, pi over 3. And these are radian measurements in trigonometry. Okay, we've got to know more about this. So, radian is abbreviated RAD or rod. And it is the length of the arc that substands the angle. Now, 180 degrees is equal to pi radian. One complete revolution is 360 degrees, okay? And that one complete revolution, the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. When the radius is 1, then circumference of a circle is 2 pi. Okay, so if 360 degrees is one, one revolution, half of 360 degrees is 180 degrees. So if 360 degrees is 2 pi in circumference, then 180 degrees is pi. And that is the reason why 180 degrees is pi region. And from this, we can able to generate now the formula in rewriting, converting degrees to region. Okay, so when we divide pi by 180 degrees, it will give you 1 degree is equal to pi over 180 region. Okay, so 1 region, malikta naman dito, kung ang pi, it divide niya ang 180 degrees, then 1 region is 180 degrees over pi. Okay? Okay, so we need to learn how do we convert degrees to region with the understanding that 1 degree is equal to pi over 180 region. From this concept, we can now have the conversion. Let's have number 1. 320 degrees is equal to 320 times pi over 180 degrees. Uh, sorry, region. Because we know that 1 degree is pi over 180 region. So we need to multiply 320 to that. Okay? Now, using your calculator immediately, and the uh, simplified answer is 16 pi over 9 region. So 320 degrees is actually equal to 16 pi over 9 region. Okay? Second, 168 degrees. So 168, we multiply that to pi over 180 degrees because again, we know that 1 degree is pi over 180 we simplify that and we have 14 pi over 15 regions. Okay, let's have this. 25.2 degrees, we multiply that to pi over 180 and we have 7 pi over 50 regions. Okay, what about 9620 degrees? Okay, you might as well think, why is it I have as large as this? Because you know, angles in trigonometry is amount of rotation. Okay, so Pwede siyang mas malaki sa 360 or endlessly because you keep on rotating. So, this one is really passable in trigonometry, okay? So, we convert that into a region. We multiply 9,620 to pi over 180. It will give us 481 pi over 9 regions. Okay, balik tarin naman natin ngayon. So, we are converting regions to degrees. Well, one region is equal to 180 degrees over pi. So, we will use this. As our guide in rewriting and converting regions to degrees. Okay, let's have number one. Pi over 9 region. That pi over 9 will be multiplied to 180 degrees over pi. And what will happen next? So, obviously, we need to cancel out pi here. The answer is 20 degrees. So, pi over 9 is 20 degrees. Second, pi over 15 region. We multiply pi over 15 region to so 180 degrees over pi. Cancel out pi here. We simplify. So we have 12 degrees. So pi over 15 is actually equal to 12 degrees. Okay, we have the next example. 7 pi over 5 regions. Okay, we do the same. We multiply that 180 degrees over pi. We cancel out this one pi here so we have 252 degrees okay next 15 pi over 14 region we multiply 15 pi over 14 to 180 degrees over pi canceling out pi here it will give us 1350 over 7 degrees and that is actually fraction now 
that is exactly equal in degrees minutes and seconds 192 degrees 51 minutes 25.71 seconds